Hi there, hi guys doing welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, you're absolutely welcome. Do well to subscribe, leave a comment, and now let's get into the video of today. Today we're delving into a fantastic topic that goes against the norm, which is silent moves loud results. It's all about achieving your goals without making a lot of noise about it or in the process of it. I know that it seems in this world that loud movements and loud achievement are glorified, but sometimes the most powerful progress is made silently. Let's explore how embracing the art of silent moves can lead to incredibly impactful results. It's all about letting your actions speak for itself. To achieve big results quietly, it starts with setting clearer and achievable goals. The more specific you are, the easier it is to map out your path. So what that means is set clearer goals, whatever it is you would like to achieve, set a goal that is really clear for you to understand and sometimes for your workers or your viewers to understand as well. Remember, silent moves require a well-defined destination. Consistency is the key to quiet success. Establish daily habits that align with your goals and stick to them rigorously. These small silent actions compound over time. So for example, if you would like to be better at video editing or be better as a YouTuber, create daily habits that will help you get better. Do the one video in 100 day challenge where every single day you have to record a video, edit it. So basically, after 100 day, you're going to get better at video editing and video your creation. Something else you can do is waking up every morning, making your bed, setting times to say, okay, I would like to study every day for one hour and making sure that you follow through on that. Those daily habits that align with your goals are going to eventually make you and get you to be better at the skills that you would want to learn. There's nobody that is better at a skill without daily practice. I was talking to someone a few days ago and I said, remember during Beyonce's World Tour, it started in Europe, right? I was supposed to go for that world tour, but I couldn't afford it. So I guess the next time, hopefully. But like I was saying, during the world tour, I remember when Blue Ivy Carter, that's Beyonce's daughter, came on stage to dance. I remember people were laughing at her because she couldn't really dance. Like It wasn't like she couldn't dance. She was a little bit stiff. And being that she was a little child, probably her first time on stage, it was something that I could understand. But then every single time, I'm sure after the show, she would go in, watch her clip, practice some more. So recently, when I watched the last show of her performance, during her mom's birthday I was in awe like I was like what because she had gotten so good I'd watched her like first time I'd watch her in the middle she was gradually getting better but it wasn't anything to write home about but when I watched the final show and I saw her dance I was like my goodness and what that means is practicing anything consistently especially daily there's no way you're not going to get better i was talking to someone the other day and i was trying to explain how nobody was born brilliant nobody was born powerful nobody was born with all the wisdom and energy but with time constant practice constant rediscovery relearning you gradually are able to be the best at what you do. Silent movers are experts at time management. They prioritize tasks, they eliminate distractions and allocate their time efficiently. The only way that you'll be able to manage time, for example, if you set a time and say, okay, I'm going to edit for 20 minutes every day or for two hours every day, the only time you'll be able to do that is to manage those three things. So you have to prioritize the tasks that are important to you and that you need to be more successful or that you need to be able to achieve what you're trying to achieve. Quietly evolving is a powerful way to achieve your goals. When you're trying to evolve, you don't have to announce it like, oh, in two months, I'm going to be the best at this. In two months, I'm going to be the best at that. No evolve quietly set your goals manage your time correctly and do what you need to do and you would find out that with time and with silence you'll be able to achieve way more than you ever expected building strong and meaningful connections is another cornerstone for silent success so about networking with purpose and nurturing your relationships there's something i learned which is that you are three people away from the person that's going to change your life. You are three people away from the president of this country. You are three people away from the richest man in the world. I remember the first time I learned that, I was like, it's not possible, but look at it this way. One person, if you know one person that knows, let's say the governor or knows 
you or you know one person that's a cousin to the governor, but you don't know because, well, maybe you guys don't have that relationship. Or you know somebody that's friends with the daughter of the governor. The daughter of the governor is friends with the governor. The governor is friends with somebody that is friends with the president of the United States or with the president of Nigeria. However you choose to see it, you are three people away from somebody that's going to change your life. So that's why every relationship is so important. I try to value every relationship that I have and everybody that I have in my life. Even if I feel like, okay, we might not jive as friends, like we're not the best of friends, I still value that relationship and I still make sure that it is nurtured in a way that is effective, which means I might not be best friends with you, we might not talk every day, but when we do talk, I will make sure that I am impactful in your life. So make sure that every relationship that you have, not all those relationships, everybody's not going to be your best friend, everybody is not your confidant, everybody's not the person you tell your family secrets. Nurturing relationships also mean knowing who people are and what they should be in your life as a set time. Your worker or your staff in your office is not supposed to be the one you confide in and tell all your family secrets. Your boss at work or your colleague at work is not your bestie. Like your colleague at work is your work colleague, is your bestie at work. There needs to be a line in that relationship. The position people are in your life, you need to know the position they are. You need to place them in the right position. You need to respect their positions are not overexposed or underexposed. For example, I used to have this person that I wanted to be my friend or I thought was my friend before I understood nurturing relationships and placing people in the right place in my life. I had this person that was my friend. I thought I expected or I wanted the relationship to be a close relationship where you guys are close, lifelong soulmates kind of friendship. And to this person, we were colleagues kind of friendship. Do you understand? And so most times when I expected things from this person, I wasn't getting it. And so I was getting upset because I was like, I'm doing this as a friend. I'm not getting the the return for what I'm doing. It was time. It was after some time when I sat down and I actually thought about it and I realized that yes, I was nurturing the relationship, but not nurturing it in the right way. This person wasn't here to be my bestie. This person just wanted to network. This person wanted to be my friend because they knew who my sister was, so they had a business that they wanted my sister to help them with. So they weren't really friends with me because oh, they wanted to just be my friends. They were friends with me because they wanted to network. So make sure that when you meet people, know who they are, know why they are friends with you, how can they help you, how can you help them, is this relationship beneficial, if it's not beneficial at the moment, how can you just nurture that connection to make sure that, okay, if you need this person in the future, you'll be able to get access to this person. So basically not shutting any door, leaving every door open, having the right relationship with the right people. Silent movers are also avid learners. They're constantly seeking knowledge, feedbacks, and ways to improve their lives and their businesses. So if you're a silent mover, you have to be seeking out ways to improve. Everybody you meet, you can learn something from. One of my motto in life is I do not have conversations that I cannot explain. Every time I meet someone, I'm trying to learn from them, no matter who they are, no matter how little or how big they are. I'm trying to learn something from them. I'm trying to pick their brain. I'm trying to find out. I ask very deep questions. For example, if you have met me for the first time, I'm sure you'll be like, oh, for me, ask so many questions because I'm trying to understand different aspects of life. And so I ask like deep questions, like what do you really think about this who, how do you see this? Where do you see yourself in five years? That determines how I place those people in my life. And that also helps me to learn and grasp knowledge from them. Quietly evolving is a powerful way to achieve your goals. And how can you quietly evolve? Learning to read books. If you're like me, that gets easily distracted. Maybe you can't read a book for a long time. You can listen to audio books. You're usually shorter than real books. You can watch videos on YouTube and learn from those kind of videos just finding a way to every day better yourself you can attend workshops you can have the right friends that have the right conversations so that your brain doesn't get shallow because you are having like shallow conversations <laughs> silent moves gives you loud results you don't have to make so much noise show people you're working according to my worry people show us you're working show us your doings show us what you can do show us how you can do it and don't just come and always just announce things before they should be announced 
take your time, walk behind the scenes. And when you actually come forward, you actually find out that you're exploding instead of just announcing yourself. You don't need to shout from the rooftop to achieve greatness. I remember when I was in school, I used to have my friend. Every time I'll tell him like, oh, I want to achieve this. He'll say, fool me, quiet quiet like you don't know who your enemy is quiet and i've gradually learned not just in having oh you don't know who your enemies are you don't know who which is wishes you well or evil but you don't want to jinx yourself do you understand and i feel like there's this validation we get when we announce something before we do it there's this validation we get that makes us feel like oh we actually done it when in the real sense of it you've not achieved anything you've not done anything you have just announced it for example announcing i would like to post one video every day for a hundred days and not made any set plans no set goals no set improvement nothing to be able to achieve that goal i will just be announcing and for example if i've not made some backup videos to make sure i don't fall off the wagon i've not like written out script i've not written out video ideas that i would like to focus on during that hundred days i'll just be making random videos every day that's if i even succeed in achieving it share your thoughts and comments in the comment section below about this video or any other video and let's inspire each other so thank you so much for joining me on this video today remember you can achieve incredible results quietly until next time stay focused stay determined and keep making those silent moves i'll see you guys in my next video bye